Hello friends and let's have a look at the D-Link 1360 wireless range extender. This device is designed to extend the range of an existing wireless connection. The device can operate in seven distinct operation modes which are as follows. The access point mode, repeater or range extender mode, the bridge mode, bridge plus access point mode, wireless client mode and WISP repeater mode. You will see these multiple operation modes represented graphically at the back of the box. So let's check out the contents of the box. Once we open the box, we find the quick installation guide, the warranty information, the installation disk, and that's the wireless range extender. This device comes with two detachable antennas. These have to be fixed before configuring the device. You have to just rotate them in clockwise directions. And we are set. This is the LAN port and this is the power button. That is the Ethernet cable. The device also comes with a stand which you can use to mount it. Then there's the power adapter. So let's have a look at the configuration of the device. Let's first do all the physical connections. I'll take the power cable and insert it into the power port. I'll take the Ethernet cable, insert one end of it in the Ethernet port of my device and the other end of it will go into the Ethernet port of my computer. I'll power the device on. Once you power the device on, you'll see the LEDs being lit. The first one is a power LED. The second one is a Wi-Fi LED, which indicates that your device is transmitting a Wi-Fi signal. And that LED indicates that your device is connected to a computer. So once we are done with the physical connections, we have to assign a static IP address to our computer. For that, we go to our network preferences, select Ethernet, and select the IPv4 configuration to manual. After we do that, we enter our IP address as 192.168.0.6. We enter the subnet mask value as 255.255.255.0. We can keep rest of the things as they are and then click on apply. And then we open our web browser and enter the IP address of the access point which is 192.168.0.50 and then we'll be prompted with this setup wizard dialog where we click next. The device operates in multiple modes namely the access point mode, wireless client mode and repeater mode. The access point mode is used to establish a wireless network so that it allows interconnection between the WLAN and fixed wireless network. For our setup purposes, we are going to choose the repeater mode. In this mode, your device receives wireless signal from an existing router and repeats it. So we click next. After that, you'll be prompted with a dialog which asks you to select your configuration method. We select manual and click next. This is where you get a list of all the available Wi-Fi connections. You have to identify and select the network which you wish to connect to and click on connect. Here, you will enter the password of the router whose signal you wish to repeat. Enter the password and click next. You will get another dialog indicating the completion of the setup. Click next again. Click OK. So now once your setup is done, your device needs to reboot. So once your device is rebooted, you can place it in a location where you get around 50% of signal strength from your router. Then open your Wi-Fi connection menu and look for the signal strength of your existing Wi-Fi connection. If the signal strength is boosted, that means you know that your device is already doing its work and the signal has been repeated.